Oh my goodness. Well, hello, everybody on YouTube. It's the Wingnut, and uh, yeah, it has definitely gotten colder. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would be a little bit warmer right now if my gloves worked, uh, but my uh, looks like my heated gloves are kaput. So I'm gonna have to test those out a little bit. But anyways, it's not what I want to talk about today. What I wanted to talk about today is make sure these fools are stopping because they run that light all the time. What I wanted to talk about today is adulting classes. Now, I first heard about adulting classes, I want to say five or six years ago. And I had a great big old laugh about it. I really did. I'll be honest. I thought it was the funniest crap I had ever heard of. And it was just one of those deals where it was like, you got to be serious, right? Like kids are going to, you know, I, I say kids, but young folks are going to school to learn how to do simple stuff. Like check the oil in their car, change the tire, you know, uh, how to balance the checkbook, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, uh, and, and, you know, taxes, all that jazz. And it just kind of, kind of blew my mind, like, you know, like what in the world? And I thought it was hilarious. And now a few years later, and after, you know, being an instructor uh, uh, for the Navy and teaching grown people how to do stuff, oh, that's new, that's nice, they put a new park in. Um, after being in charge of quite a few people on board uh, an aircraft carrier, uh, I have to say that it makes sense because when you you hear about these adulting classes, you know, you're looking at them through your filter. I guess it's stupid. Why in the world do people need class for this? But after seeing and talking to a lot of the sailors that I've worked with, I. I'm not going to get away back. I don't think I am. Mm. So back on track. So after talking to a bunch of these sailors and after uh, the reason I'm getting stairs right now is I've got the dead Elmo on. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's all good fun. Uh, it's just one of those things where I'm talking to them and getting the background why they don't know how to do stuff. So like changing, checking the oil in your car, changing a tire. A lot of folks I met that didn't know how to do that is because well, they didn't have cars growing up or they weren't around cars growing up because where they grew up. You know, they grew up in like Chicago or New York or even, you know, like Atlanta and then, you know, places that had really good mass transit and there wasn't a need to have a car. Um, for the taxes and checkbook, man, their parents didn't teach it, but that's what, that's what I'm getting at is, you know, a few examples. Um, in the case of some that I knew, they, they saw their parents when their parents came home to sleep because they worked you know 90 to a you know 100 hours a week just trying to keep them fed and clothed and there's a lot that i see where their parents just plopped them in front of the tv and said all right tv raise them or the parents expected the school system to teach them everything that they needed to know about life and the reason this stuff is happening to, to folks the reason why these folks need these classes and i'm gonna tell you right now i now full props for anybody who goes to adulting class to learn how to do something they didn't know already know how to do you know what I mean like if you don't know how to do it and there's a class to do it man and you want to go to it go to it good on you because it means you're trying to better yourself you know I these folks are, are doing this because no one taught them or maybe the people around them just didn't know either you know that's a possibility 
so the reason why you have so many younger folks and I say younger folks because I'm not just talking about uh, millennials or zennials or hell I know boomers that you know baby boomers that don't know how to fucking <laughs> change a tire on a car I mean and I just never could understand I just absolutely could not understand how someone could be sitting on the side of the road waiting a grown man waiting on somebody else to come change their tire it just doesn't even fit into my script it just don't but I had a different upbringing than that person did you know my dad made sure that if you're gonna drive it you're gonna know how to do maintenance on it you're gonna know have to know how to do that I had a really good set of parents who made sure I understood how to deal with that my mom showed me how to open a bank account she showed me how to you know balance a checkbook and how to keep up with my savings my grandparents and great-grandparents taught me how to do stuff around the farms you know my grandfather taught me a lot of stuff about what to do around life I had a really really good social network growing up and I'm very blessed for that I, I'll say I can't say it any other way and there's a lot of folks out there that don't have that all right they just don't or they didn't or they don't know how to find it or they didn't know it was there or it was it could be used that way so they never learn anything you know as far as like life skills I can't tell you how many people I know that don't understand that they need to lead, read everything in a lease I can't tell you how many people I don't know that don't understand how a credit card works they just think money comes out the damn thing you know so the reason we have such a thing like this is because these young folks weren't given the support weren't taught by the parental figures in their lives you know I don't want to say their parents because some folks didn't have them some folks they don't had guardians uh, and it's one of those things where you can't get mad at them it's not their fault now if they want to remain clueless I ain't got much sympathy for them you know but if they want to go out and learn how to do this stuff how to to change a tire how to check the oil in their car how to work on their motorcycle you know how, you know how to how to balance the checkbook how to do their taxes or where to take their taxes to get them done if they're really not feeling sure about it it's because they didn't have that social network growing up and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say it's you know it's the internet's fault because I'm, I'm 39 are about to be 39 <laughs> my wife is 34 we grown all right people in our generation don't know how to do a lot of stuff and there an industry has popped up around teaching them how to do that stuff <clears throat> sewing a button on them my, great, my, my, my granny taught me that you know showed me how to sew a button on that's pretty damn useful in the military it's pretty damn useful in life if you pop a button on you on your shirt well I know how to do that you know it's the reason it happened was for a lot of folks is their parents sent them to school thinking school's going to teach them everything but what they failed to realize is Home ec classes were dying. Shop classes were dying when I was in high school in the, in the mid-90s. Right? There were five people in my weld shop that I went to school at. Five people. I think my elect the uh, electronics repair shop was packed. You know, uh, the machine shop, auto body. Those are trades. No one was getting into trades, so they didn't need to learn trade skills. I think it's pretty important that you understand how electricity works in your house other than you pay the bill and flip the switch but it happens because a lot of kids were either sent to school and expected to learn everything at school or their parents were so damn busy trying to keep them fed and safe 
that they didn't have time to teach them if they knew how to do it themselves. You know, and I'm not going to, there's no like one place you can put your finger and say, this is the problem, this is why it happened. It, it's not. What it boils down to was no one taught them. No one took the time to teach them. No one tried to teach them. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. And uh, I'd like to hear your your take on it. So please feel free. Comments below as always. You know, email, Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. It's all down in the description below. Hit me up. I'd like to hear what you want to say or what you think about this. Because I honestly believe the reason they're doing this is because no one taught them. And that's their parent and guardian's responsibility. You know, it wasn't the school system's responsibility. Public school doesn't teach you about life. Public school system teaches you how to be a public school student. Because we find a lot of people when they go to college later on, they find a lot of what they learned in public school wasn't very accurate. Oh, well, looks like tunnel traffic is backing up. Mm-mm. <laughs> Sorry, I got caught up on music. Times is a trip to send through hill. Uh oh, these kiddos. just one of those things you know <laughs> I kind of harped on this enough so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out guys saying you know hey it's the wingnut like dislike subscribe it's on you have a good one